if you wanted to make the earrings then I'm just going to quickly show you I'm not going to go through the whole process because obviously it's repeti um, I'm not going to go through the whole process because it's just going to be repeating what we already know I just want to show you how I've adapted it to create this earring drop so instead of taking a piece of wire as a handle what we're going to do is use the shepherd hook as an actual handle and in that way we can just go straight on to creating the design I've already got my sections prepared so what I'm going to go ahead and do is just prepare a gemstone on a head pin and make a wrap loop so taking a 6mm faceted black agate and pop this straight onto my head pin take my chain nose pliers and place them nice and close to the gemstone I'm then going to just push that head pin towards me repositioning my pliers I'm just rotating my hand so that one of the prongs is now on top of the head pin I'm then going to push that head pin all the way over and then reposition my pliers again so that it will open out a gap underneath between the head pin and a gemstone I'm then going to just make sure I've got my pliers in the right position take the tail of this head pin and bring it all the way around so I want it to go nice and straight and then just pushing that it's just going to wrap down towards the top of the bead then I'm going to take my cutters and I'm just going to snip that out of the way and there I have my ready-made link that I can attach just directly onto a jump ring as part of the design. As I said, I've got all of my sections ready and I'm going to be making three links and then I'm going to be separating them. So I need three sets of my jump ring with two attached. So I'm going to need three sets of my jump rings with the rings attached. Remember, these are all five mil and then three separate open five mil jump rings. I'm going to need three of each so three of the sets three of the singles then I'm going to need one two so I'm going to need one two of the three mil to go in between and connect them another one to connect it to the head pin and the jump rings and then another one so there's four in total of the three mil already opened and that fourth one will connect to the shepherd hook so as I said instead of actually having a starting piece of wire I'm going to take the shepherd hook and I'm going to attach my three mil jump ring open and close I'm then going to go in and add one of my sets with the two attached and close and just show you very quickly the way I find it easier because you've got this head this shepherd hook here it gets a little bit in the way if you try to go through the three mil first so I find taking my five mil go through the two five mil jump rings and then feed it up and then catch that three mil I just find that that's a little bit easier and I'm not fighting the shepherd hook then close that up and then you're ready to start adding your gemstones okay so I'm ready I've done everything I'm just going to show you now I've got these good to go that's my third and final link so I'm going to go ahead and add in my three mil jump ring now just as normal making sure that's ready to go and then I'm going to take my pre-made link and pop that on as well and then we're just going to close that jump ring and there is your ready-made pair of earrings and that's your set just there so you can see how versatile this design is you can see how you can change it and how you can get it to um, look different by adding links or by not just one tip again is please make sure 
that your jump rings are as close as they can be otherwise if there's any movement your jump your gemstone may come out so you really need to make sure that those links are 100% uh, closed and that obviously visually that's going to look better as well so I hope you like this project um, any questions please feel free to ask me and I look forward to seeing your designs <laughs>